Well, good morning, everybody. It's a little bit after 5 a.m. I'm down at the Oregon coast again at buoy 10. We've got some lightning going off, a slight drizzle happening, and today we're going to be in the NSIA, the Northwest Sport Fishing Industry Association um, Salmon Derby. I'm in the boat with uh, Buzz, Julie, Fred, Patrick, and Tim. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go out there and give it our best shot. Hopefully you can see me because it's about pitch black right now. <laughs> Just left the Hammond boat launch and went down around the checkerboard up along Desdemona Sands on the Washington side and now we're up in the Blind Channel and uh, literally we just put our stuff out and Julie just lost a uh, fish. Uh, I'm not sure what it was but I uh, already got some action so good news. It's a little little rough out here, a little bit of a breeze, a little, uh, little drizzle, a little lightning here and there but uh, Overall, not too bad. We just made a pass from the bridge up here in the Blind Channel, and we're gonna spin it around and do it again. fish on all over the place. It's pretty crazy. Literally like we were in a fish bowl of people fighting fish all around us. Right, looks like we got a fish on here in the back. Fred's got it on. Everybody's reeling up frantically. Boat's rocking all over the place. And as you can see, whoa, there I go on my seat, on my keister. Oh, it's a beautiful sunrise this morning. Really nice day and uh, lots of boats. And uh, today we've got uh, a lot of the same crew that was on the Rogue video from earlier this summer. Late spring right here, Patrick. So now we just gotta find out what's going on here. What kind of fish we got? That's him. I don't know, looks like a good one. Yeah. Doesn't want to come in, that's for sure. Yeah, I gotta plant. I gotta plant myself a little bit because we're rocking and yeah, rolling. Yeah, it's a little sporty this morning. <laughs> yeah. Great bite, but sporty. Have <laughs> fun now. I was at 42 with uh, eight ounces. So, Fred, 42 feet deep. Fish on. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a lot, been a lot of fish caught all around us. We literally had to reel up a little while ago because we were stuck in the middle of all it, of it and didn't want to get tangled up. It's like uh, this one might be getting close to coming in here. Yep. This is definitely a got to be a snook. Sh definitely not a coho. Not a coho. That was pulling. Musical, musical chairs. It's interesting because this morning feels like we've got a little bit of an east wind blowing. This makes it rough. Okay, here we go. I see Cooling. fish. You see a wild? I think it's hatchery, but, but yeah, look. Can't tell. Hard to see. Hatchery. Try to put them in the net. Sure. There it is. Yeah. You see that, Freddy? Thule. Yeah. Thule? Oh, yeah. 
So uh, looks like this one's a Thule, so we're gonna give it the quick release and let it go do its thing and make some more fish. A few more waves and we're gonna release Fred and the fish, I think. <laughs> I got it. There it goes, beautiful, beautiful. See you later, buddy. Away he goes. Right, fish number two or number three, I guess we could say now. It's on, on Patrick's rod and it's ripping. Looks like it's on the surface back there someplace. We've got a double going on here. Right. Some good action. I'm going to watch the uh, Mary go around in the boat now. We got a double. We got double trouble. Who, uh, who wants some net here? Just throw it down there. Right. We got full action here. Fish on through the line. I can't reel anymore. Madness. It's got a, we got a line wrapped right here. Hopefully that fish has got just enough tension on it to stay on. Net. Here. Here comes the net. And I'm glad I'm not doing the tangle because I can't see. I still have my glasses on. Looks like the fish is still there though, huh? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, it's still there. Don't there. worry about it's that. It's still there. Yeah, my job. I don't care about that. Oh man, he's almost there. There. One more knot. Oh, we got a fish coming in over here. There we go. We got a coho? What is that, guys? Yeah, look. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? Trying to see if it's a looks like a pretty it? nice fish. A nice fish. I it, see it. Hatchery. Shoot. It's got no way out of pole. Yeah, oh. bummer. Nice, it's coming in. One, one coming in. I need a net. Uh, meanwhile, Patrick's over here, reeling, reeling on something. We're not sure what. Doing good, boys. How are you doing? Get that out. Yeah. This fish looks like it made a little run out no, there. No, 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 no. We're, we're perfect. Okay, one in. Another one coming in. Oh yeah. So Patrick, oh, yeah. you get you get to reel a lot of fish in yourself. <laughs> oh, my arms are so sore. <laughs> oh, and it's always great to get the the reel in a fish. This looks like it's got some, some Here, uh, shoulders on. I know. I made a couple really super good runs. <laughs> Freddie helped get the uh, <laughs> other rod well, off. You're walking it. that way. The boat's rocking you that see way. The, <laughs> see the flash here. Anywhere. There it is. Like another hatchery another fish. Another oh. hatchery nice, it's a bright, nice All bright, right. bright fish. Wheel him right in. Wheel him right in. Oh, yeah, that's coming in for sure. Oh, that oh, yeah. was a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I was like, I wonder when he's going to reel. It was reeled all the way to the tip. Oh, that, that's, uh, is that fish going to Montana? Yeah, Maybe? Yeah. yeah. It's got a beauty. seal mark and everything. All right. That was a nice fish. Wow, look at that, you guys. Ten. Beautiful. Nice. Chrome bright. Where's that other fish? Right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, look at those. Two fish in the boat. Yeah. Well, we got uh, three to go, something like that. Hang on. Whoa. Taking on waves. Oh, Patrick's bleeding those two upriver brights out right now. It's, uh, I know it's, it's a little bit down. rough. I mean, it could be rougher, but uh, it's hard to, hard to walk around the boat and get the good quality video that I usually try to get, but. Uh, Hopefully it'll lay down a little bit later and uh, 
talk to some of these people on board. Oh, 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 just like that. Where's Sean? Oh, no, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Yep, I got him. Oh, there he is. Now he's on the back ride. He's on Fred's ride. Fred, he stole it from uh, the, so That's a wow. true friend for you there. God John, Freddy. John. We'll need the double. Putting these fish into the ice. Get it on the dog. Pass number two was quite productive. I think we put two uh, chrome fish in the boat and uh, things are looking good. It's still a little bit royally rough out here, but uh, we're going back down to the bridge and uh, gonna make another pass. Well, we're back up here at the bridge and uh, I'm up here in the front of the boat and I got a little friend here named Bolt. And I think Bolt is having a, uh, I think Bolt's having a beam me up Scotty type experience right now. <laughs> Took a few waves on the back. Beam me up Scotty. And I think it, the bed's a little soggy. You'll be okay though, Bolt. Hang in there. Fish on, guys. We are bouncing. We we got a double here. Who's got the other one? Both you guys. Pat, you're punched, right? Left side of the boat is hot today. Yeah, hold on. I gotta get this one in. All right. And I can tell. Uh, I can tell Bolt is really excited about this. This is gonna be fun. Got the double going on on this side. Boat's bouncing around. Rods all over the place. We got a guy eating. Oh yeah! Yum. So here we go. Can you guys can you pull them both into the net at the same time? So that's all I want to know. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is pretty rolly out here. Oh, pulling out the second net. We got the first one in the boat. Another double. And then uh, another one still swimming around out here. I'm ready. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of uh, Just about ready to pull this one in. Looks like it's fun for you, huh, Tim? Yeah. All of a oh, sudden, now man, you gotta stand up, too. Been laying by the side <laughs> of the boat the whole time. This one's got some energy. Is this uh, wild? What do we got? Beautiful. Okay, you loose. Yep. Looks like uh, this one's going back. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty hot fishing out here. A lot of fish on, all around us. All right, here we, here we go. Fish number three going in. A couple more Chinook, and we will be done with this Chinook, guys. Patrick was on the video a couple months ago, maybe three months ago, down on the Rogue. And Patrick owns Eagle Bay Lodging and Fishing. Eagle Bay Lodging and Fishing down there on the mouth of the Rogue River in Gold Beach, Oregon. So, uh, you guys catch some pretty big fish. I mean, some of them up over 30 pounds. Yeah, we had a, you know, if you if you guys had a chance to watch the video from back in May when I had Tony's brother Nick down there along with Fred Kentawi um, and myself and, uh, and Tim. He came over down here. and fished with us too. 
we uh we you know we got into the the rogue springers pretty good it was a great time and uh so now we're up here doing this buoy 10 fishery this is my first time ever up here doing this it's it's quite the new experience a little bit a little bit more sporty out here the big water compared to the bay trolling on the rogue where this the the river's flat but the boats are a little bit more concentrated and it's we call it the rogue rodeo down there but up here it's you know it's beautiful there's hundreds and hundreds maybe a thousand boats out here rocking and rolling catching these nice big uh, chinook uh, here and uh you know we've had some action this morning we've had two doubles we've released a uh, wild had a couple other opportunities that didn't stick but uh for being a first experience here i've got no complaints i'll, I'll be back fishing with uh, captain buzz down there you know you can't really go wrong the, the legend himself you know when he invites you to come be on his tournament team you don't say no you, you drop everything going on in your life and you get up here not only are we in the derby, I'm also in Douglas Outdoors boat, and we've got the uh, designer, some reps. What, who do we have here, Fred? Well, I'm Fred Kintawi, rod designer, Douglas Outdoors, and uh, happy to be out here, buoy 10. This is really a great thing with Benny here. I got Benny. He wants to, <laughs> yeah. he, he likes to be on camera, that boy. But anyways, we've got Buzz Ramsey, our great ambassador. Of, great addition to the team I've known him most of my life and he just uh, he's a you know icon in our sport we got Julie Jewell Miss Kintawi and she's uh, fishing extraordinaire and numbers extraordinaire and good mother we got Tim Riley he's our sales rep in the Pacific Northwest conventional yep. and he's done a good job at placement and getting us getting rods out on the water and then we've got uh, Patrick Collinger, Eagle Bay Lodge, and uh, part of our uh, rogue fishing operations uh, yep. board. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're just super happy to be here. Yep. And we've caught a bunch of fish in the last two days, so exciting. Yeah, the fishing's been phenomenal. We're getting rocked around a little bit, and I'm on my knees right now. I'm still getting rocked around. <laughs> but. Uh, We'll, uh, we're well, having... We got Tony Amato with us. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Who the heck's that guy? yeah. We got Tony. <laughs> man. Where's Wolfie? Wolfie is uh, he's sleeping. Wolfie's working. Working. He better be working. <laughs> Patrick was just telling me about a nonprofit that he just recently started to take military vets fishing. What uh, what can you tell me about the, the new organization? Yeah, so my good friend, his name's Merritt Draven. He's also from Gold Beach. So he and myself started a nonprofit foundation called Rogue Fishing Operations, where we take our veterans out fishing help put them up, get them on adventures, a nice little vacation. They're welcome to bring their families down with them and, and come out with us. Uh, but it's all free of charge. We ask, you know, for, for donations, we write grants, um, and we've been successful so far in, in helping get some of these guys out fishing with us. We just had our first uh, major event this last weekend. We had 28 veterans and their families come down, and uh, we took them out salmon fishing out of the mouth of the Rogue River. We were successful. We were able to send them home with a whole bunch of nice king salmon. We wanted to get out and take them ocean fishing because uh, we have a 29-foot kingfisher ocean boat as well to be able to take them out rock fishing for ling cod, uh, blacks, blues, vermilions, etc. Uh, but the ocean didn't quite cooperate for us that weekend, so we we were in the river. We took them, big success. We set them up with a our good friend as well who did a catering uh, event for them where we made rockfish tacos for dinner and grill, uh, grilled up some salmon and um, it was just a, it, it's a great event it's nice to be able to get our veterans out get them in a no stress environment um, where they can relax enjoy themselves and uh, you know feel appreciated for serving our country and, and taking care of us here in the homeland. Fred's wife Julie is right here with us. With uh, who is your little friend? Benny. Benny. So, what do you think of this buoy ten fishing? I love it. Um, this is my first time out here fishing. 
Um, first time with Buzz, so that's a real honor to be on the boat. Um, you know, fishing is our passion. It's what we do when we're not working. So, what I do when I'm not working. Where, where else is Fred taking you on adventures? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Long way. Tuna? Uh, our last adventure was a couple weeks ago. Um, I guess it was three weeks ago. We went uh, tuna fishing out of Coos Bay and uh, just us two and the dogs and um, we filled the cooler until there was no more room and, and made a really nice day out of it. Well, we've been fishing above the bridge. The tide is starting to flood. I don't know, I think high tide is about 9.30. 9.30-ish, yeah. So down here at Bowie 10, the mouth of the Columbia River, it's all about the tides. Your success is all about the tides because every flooding tide floods with it, with the in incoming water, the salmon flood in. There's a surge of salmon that ride the tide up into the river. And so when we get near the top of the tide, the best fishing is above the bridge. And, and especially for Chinook. The, you know, all we've caught this morning are Chinook. There's a few coho around. We saw some yesterday, but it's really a Chinook thing. And most people want to catch, they'll take a coho, but they want to catch Chinook. But this tide, we're getting towards the top end of Blind Slough. There's really two channels. There's a south channel, which is a dredged shipping channel on the Oregon side of a big sand island out in the middle of Columbia by the, by the Astoria Megalo Bridge. And then there's the north channel, which is actually a false channel. We'll, if we go up here another mile or two, it'll peter out to where it's only six feet deep, you know. So, so we're trolling with the tide up here and these fish are allowing that water to flood them in and near the top of the tide they're going to be in this upper end of this estuary and, uh, and then once the tide starts to ebb go out we're going to turn and troll downstream the opposite way they're facing we just made a run up into the blind channel we're not too far away from, uh, there's another launch upstream here at Deep River, but at this point the uh, river's starting to braid out and these fish are probably starting to get trapped in these different little braids right here. So I think we're going to probably be spinning it around and then trolling towards the Astoria Megler Bridge. And we've seen quite a few fish being caught and played on our way up here, so things are looking good. Fred, you're a designer for Douglas Outdoors. What is that like? What? Yeah, so we make, you know, all sorts of fly rods from, you know, bluegill to tarpon and, and pretty much the full gamut on most freshwater and nearshore conventional rods. But yes, yeah, so it does. For this job, it helps time on the water to really understand all of the different nuances to the fisheries and what is required out of a rod. Uh, people think there's not a lot that goes into it, but one, the rods have to stay together, as Buzz says, and you gotta have the right action for any particular technique. So typically we'll design a rod based on two or three different lure types or whatever it is we're doing, trolling or, or throwing swim baits for bass, etc. So they'll be really dialed in on that. The, the most important part of the rod really is the blank. It's the, you know, having good guides, like we use Fuji guides and uh, uh, on our fly rods we do use recoils and Seracoil guides as well, which are beautiful guides. But uh, on the conventional rods, the, the Fuji guides are really good and we believe in really paying attention to ergonomics and the right reel seats and then, you know, accompany that with a really good blank with the right actions. You know, you first start with getting, you know, having the rock lure properly fish, but then when the fish bites it, is it the right action to get the hook into them? And then thirdly, the fight and then getting them to net. So there's a lot of consideration comes into, 
you know, designing a rod, it's not just the flexibility or the colors or things like that. It's it's the it's the full package when it comes to you know from lure presentation to actually landing the fish. So yeah, it's uh, it's fun and yes, I've been all over the world and fished in over 50 countries and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going to Montana uh, tomorrow and actually going up to the Madison River and seeing Kelly Gallup and his new store in Ennis, Montana. And uh, Julie and the dogs and I are going to spend a little time on the road and fish a little bit and come back next week. All right, we just made another pass and then we came pretty far up into the blind channel. We've got uh, actually deep rivers just uh, over around that cliff right there. And then over on this side, we've got Tongue Point. It's a little hazy out today. There's uh, been some smoke flying, flying around from the wildfires. Not sure if they're coming from Canada or the US side, but uh, it's actually, it's pretty nice though. We've got some blue sky and it's not raining. It's probably about as calm as it's been today right now, which is kind of nice and uh, nice and quiet, light breeze, beautiful. <laughs> Right, we got a bite off the back of the boat right here, just uh, just below the deep river. Just let him fight. Well, you know, it's funny is I we were talking off? about cell phones and I took it out of my pocket. No, he's probably running at you. Turn and run at you. Well, now he's on there. This fish is this yeah. fish is on its way to Portland, you guys. Uh oh. Milwaukee. We gotta stop it. Yeah, Milwaukee. Don't take it, Tim. Tim, help it, Tim. Tim. Whoever hasn't caught one. Yeah, who else hasn't caught one? Fuck that, Tim. No. Alright, alright, stop yelling at me! Yell at him some more. Tim's on it. Come on, Tim. Tim. Come here. Where is he? Way the hell out there. That fish is gone. He is gone. He is gone. Is he gone? Truly. Oh no! Patrick! They <laughs> gone. We've got a fish on out the back of the boat. Freddy's on! Freddy's got it and uh we're still up here, kind of by Deep River and across from Tongue Point. Just fishing these uh, fingers, channel fingers. Are you taking note? Yeah, it looks like it's thrashing like it's like chrome. Chrome bright. Now I just gotta see if there's a is there a fin on it? I don't know. There we go. Yep, it's a silver. A keeper? I think so. Looks like a uh, yep. oh, keeper. nice hatchery right. keeper. Hatchery silver. It's coming in. All right, all right. Just now, weren't you paying attention? How about just now? Yeah, that's Other what than this saying. one. Yeah, that, that is nice. Look at that beautiful fish. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Excellent. That's that going to Montana. I think that should go to Montana. They're all going sure. to Montana. Yeah. All right, guys, it's got another one. Just had a coho on the last rod. Don't turn, and, uh, into him. Don't turn into him. Tim just took the helm on this rod oh, right here. Yeah. Oh, it's running. Oh, smoke. Wow. Right now, the fish, if you guys can see the the 70, mud wall over there. I think the or, fish is. Sorry, 65. I think it's just about to the mud wall over there. What did you say? Yeah. He's, it's part, uh, yeah, definitely a native. Part bluegill. Part bluegill. <laughs> Close down just a bit and I'll get this fish off so we can get the back going. Something about those front rods. Uh -huh. Whoa, here we go. Oh, come on, Under Allie. the boat. Don't you know we're going to let you go? Get him there, Freddy. Nice fish. Nice fish. Not brown. Actually, I don't no, know. No, he's not as brown as I no, thought he was. No, that's a nice fish. 
Yeah. But it's got a fin, so. See you later, buddy. That that was probably good footage. You oh, yeah. look a lot like your brother right now. Yeah, you do with the glasses on and everything. Wolfie too. Well done, boys. <laughs> Wolfie too. Another fish on. We're still up here, way above the bridge. I'll work my All way back here. See what we got happening. Get their act together. Oh, we, got a line. we got a sea line coming. So we need to get this thing in he quick. Saw us. Oh, that's a nice chrome Put fish, that too. That thing. Oh. oh, no! Popped off. That's why I hate to brush them. That was a hatchery. Oh, it was a chrome, upriver bright. It was a hatchery, too. At least the seal didn't get it either. We had a nice fish on. Yeah. And then a sea lion was like porpoising <laughs> at us. Yep. And he was going to get it. <laughs> started yanking that fish in pretty hard and bink. Came off, yep. But hey, it was a keeper too. It was a keeper it too. Like yep. a nice if you got it, I'd have put my cowboy hat on. <laughs> December. Yo, holy crap! He's a ripper. He's a ripper. Look at that. Jeez. Look at that. Man, oh man. Uh, oh, oh no, no, I thought he came off right there. Right there. I did look like it came loose down. for a sec. Huh? Right when the barometer changes, fish on. Gone? Nope. No, he's oh, just going still there. They don't want me to back off, Jim. Ah, uh, he might be off now. Gone. Is he gone? Yeah. Sure, he might be swimming at us, though. Nah, you can tell by the flash. Oh, no. Right now we're uh, down below the bridge, yep. patrolling along the Desdemona Sands on the yep. Washington side. I think it's uh, about 27, 30 feet deep. And we got our stuff out, and I'm guessing anytime we're gonna hook another fish. Anytime. They gotta be gutted and gilled for the tournament. I mean, that's the rules. So we're gonna have to get in here and take the sinkers out, you know. <laughs> Doing the dance, everybody's doing the fish dance. Still there? We got the husband wife team. Team Douglas! <laughs> uh oh. This is not looking good here. Looks like we got a triple. <laughs> is it still on? Yeah, oh yeah. Still got, oh, you guys actually got that tangle out? No way. That's like a small miracle. Hey, Tim, come take this one. You know, you only got it out because your wife knows what she's doing. Yes, exactly. Another Thule. <laughs> Thule. Oh, he's got some got some energy though, doesn't he? Thule season. <laughs> yeah. Still fight good. Everybody just lapped you all of a sudden. Thule and everybody's like looking around the outside of the boat. Hey, what's going here, on? Here. Here. here, Fred, you want me to hold the rod? You do yeah. Whoa! Wow, he whoa. still got he still got some energy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you just dupe me right there? 
Right here. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> like a Thule. Yeah, yeah, it's a Thule, you can have it. <laughs> I'm going to get Ross ready. A Thule handoff. Yeah. Yeah. Fred's just a sharer. <laughs> I like to share. I got to say, this is a tough Thule, though. The Thule's quite good. Yeah. Hard. Especially a big one. Boy, you get a big one. They get really, really wide. Reel out all the way up. Oh, he's off. Oh, good. oh quick. Oh, oh, that's okay. Really quick release. That's, why, that's why he gave it to me. I know how to release him without even hurting him. <laughs> nice. Gone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my that's a. Uh, Lord. Wow, that's a. Uh, two fish. It just hammered bite. it and popped off. Buzz, What's your spinner's on? like Who's as we're rounding the corner Wait, turn. No, you're on, you're on. Oh, you're on, you're on, you're on. whoa, now we got another it, one. Oh my it, gosh. <laughs> Seriously, who's messing with us? We got Fred. Just like that. Is this the same fish that just keeps grabbing our stuff and let's go? Is that what it is? <laughs> that might have been a silver on mine. Well, whatever that thing is, it's pulling hard, huh? 152 feet. 163, right. oh 169, God. 172, 175. Ooh, he's changing, still changing, there. changing, changing. Still there, coming back. Ooh, come on, looks like there. A, looks like he's on the surface somewhere. Is he on there, Fred? Yeah, I'm on him. Have you got him? So. Have you got him? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, still there. Yeah, don't pull away from him anymore. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> if I can make him an 80, 80, 50, maybe 80 pounder <laughs> with a motor. We got a Marlin. <laughs> This thing doesn't want to come in. Maybe it's a sturgeon. 140, 140. Maybe this is that big 50 pounder. Huh? 50 pounder. 20, 20, maybe 80. <laughs> it's getting closer. What do you have to do now? 75. 75, so. 68. Still out there a little ways. <laughs> Coming to us pretty good. You getting close, Fred? Should be tired. 33, 32. Oh, it's gonna be here. It's coming. 20, it's close. 15, 14, 13. Oh, that oh, it's getting it's heavier. Five, it's getting four. heavier. It's a big rock. Okay, let loose. Let loose. Okay, uh, bud. It's got some chroma. Oh, that's chroma. For sure. And oh no, nice hatchery. I don't, hatchery. Yeah, that's coming in, guys. I'm gonna take it easy, okay? Yeah. Yep. Here he comes. There it is. Yeah. Boom. In the net. Sweet. Perfect. Right, Fred, right here. Hey. Here's the skin. <laughs> nice. Ready. Is that the is that the last chinook or was there one one more to go? One, one more. more. One more chinook. Uno mas. One more keeper. Yep, one more keeper. All right. Get out of here so they can get this in. Ah, got a fish on, oh, Fred. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woo oh, some. Right, another fish down the hatch. It's like uh, one Chinook to go for a limit of Chinook, and we have one coho. I've been talking about a lot of the locations that we've been fishing, actually in this video and in the last video, and all that information is also in this book right here. And uh, you can go on our website, amatobooks.com, to order it. It's also in the info below. We've also got this great book on uh, cutting plug cut herring. It uh, got, a, got a little soggy here because my bag wasn't exactly watertight. And we did get a little bit wet, but uh, it's got a lot of great information on selecting herring brining and dyeing herring talks about injection leaders different uh, different plug cut rolls uh, cutting vents burying the hook and a whole bunch of different just a whole bunch of different ways to uh, to set the rigs up and uh, it's a really great book and I highly recommend it you can go to our website the uh, model books website to order that and it's also down in Might the info down below. Um, there it is. Woo! 
Bam! This is a this is a strong looking fish here. Oh, whoa, whoa, over the top! Oh man! Hey, hey, hey. Oh. There you go, Tim. I made a path oh, for you. Thanks. Uh, this one is hot. Way out there. Yeah, it's still going. So it's probably a Chinook now. I'm thinking. <laughs> still on the surface. That'd be, That'd be my guess. Might be a Chinook. Might be a you got the net pack? Yeah, yeah. Yep. We're just, uh, just waiting here. All right. Should be close now. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, oh that's a nice oh, bright. Head down there. Got that's a, a nice good one. Bright. That's a good one. Don't wait, net him. Yeah, that's a nice bright. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Did it have a fit on it? No. No. Yeah. Not want to come up here, does it? Oh, it doesn't. It's like a. Nice. Keeper? He's keeper. Oh, oh, oh yay! Oh, right. Shallow sinker. <laughs> Woo, there we go. go. Let's get some silver. Shallow Loon sinker. it out. Yeah! Woohoo! Going in. Woohoo! <laughs> that is a nice chrome piece, Tim. Good job. Look at that one. Good job, Kim. Maybe that's the one. The Maybe that's the one. I that's finally gonna... put the hat on. <laughs> yeah. well, there's, there's some professionals, you guys, right here. Big yeah. smiles. Team Douglas oh, yeah. for Woo. the win. Let's do I don't it. Know about a win. But well, we it's a win in this boat. <laughs> if anybody ever wonders about where that famous hat lives, you got it right. Got it right here. Check this out. Right in that nice little case. Safe and cozy. Maybe, uh, maybe someday you'll find it on eBay. All right, Fred's calling it. Fred's calling it, guys. We got uh, six Chinook and one Coho in the cooler. And now uh, we're gonna head over to Hammond. just left Hammond and we drove around Young's Bay and we're here at the uh, fairgrounds which are pretty much on the south side of Young's Bay maybe a 15-20 uh, minute drive from Hammond we're at the weigh-in and uh, we'll start checking out some of these fish hey guys so uh, what's the big fish so far I think it's about 18 pounds Chinook 18 pounds and about I a, don't... Did you see about a, a 10 5 coho I think I don't think uh, I don't think we have an 18 pounder, but uh, we did limit out nice. on Chinook, Good job. and we got one coho. Good. So Good. weight total weight wise, yeah. I think we're doing doing okay. Well, hey Buzz, how are you doing? We're at weigh in, and it's we like, made it in time. It's like, it's like <laughs> I just saw you like 10 minutes ago, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's still, yeah. what, 45 minutes, I think, 45 minutes left to weigh in? Yeah, you know, the weigh in is from 3 to 5 o'clock, so, but you got to allow time to get here, and if you arrive after weigh in, you don't get to weigh your fish or get the big prize or any of that, so it's important to be here, and I figure for, I always allow at least an hour and a half to get here, because you never know what the traffic's going to be on the bridge or whatever, so yeah, but we made it. Uh, bigger in there? Oh, there might be one bigger. Okay. I'm gonna guess 15 ish. What do you think? Yeah, Thir no, 13 7 13 7 I'll weigh right. the other one just to make not, sure. Not too shabby. Remember that 13 Ooh, that's a nice looking fish right there. It's also a prize for the biggest overall. He's not here yet. So I've been doing this for well, a while. That, that one bigger? Well, this one looks big right here. I think there's 10 altogether. We can weigh them both. That looks like the biggest. Slab there. Yeah. It's deceiving though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. It's 
Seventeen. Yeah. Well, that's true. Thirteen, six, five, and who caught this one? Guys. Uh, Did you guys catch those at the secret spot? Okay. No. <laughs> no, not today. Not today. <laughs> Yesterday was incredible. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It was a little rough today too. A little yeah, a little bit. Yeah. The wind, the wind was going one way, and water's going the other, and then the water nice changed, job. and then the wind went the other way. That's okay. always fun. Sweet. I'm getting hungry just looking at them. I know, right? <laughs> you know who caught this one? That's me. And what's your name? Hamilton. Todd Hamilton. Todd Hamilton. Todd Hamilton. Todd Hamilton, big fish. That's both exciting. We got seven total. 11.15 for big fish. Seven of them in there? Yep. Nice we got job. Four kings. Did you got hey. the big fish? Oh, Steve. Steve did. How big was it? All right, what team are you guys? 18, 17, 16? Uh, was, no, his was, a, uh, was 11, 8, his big fish. 11, 8? Yeah. That's a big one right there, huh? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. We'll see. Okay, yeah. you're, you're good for us. You're good it's for you. be at least 15, I'd say. What do you think? I think it was maybe 17. Yeah, no, I go a little shy, because then you're let down. I can wear those other ones if you want me to. No, and who caught this one? I remember those guys. What's your name? My name's Angela. Angela? So, uh, Angela? Big fish? I'm about 40 feet away. Yeah. Keep moving. Well, they cut out all the guts. Oh, 12. Oh, there you Got go. 12, huh? That's right. Patience. Yeah. And who caught this one? That one is me. Yeah. You're, tell team. me your name again. Travis Pollock. Travis. Travis Pollock, big fish. Got it. Yeah. That's a meaty one. Yeah, it's a meaty fish. <laughs> Nothing like my forearm. <laughs> 15.75. Hey everybody, we're at the reception of the Northwest Sport Fishing Industry Association and I'm here with Nicole. How are you doing? I'm really good. It's Ashley Nicole, oh by the my way. Gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, it's super great to be back in the Northwest and fishing Buoy 10 and then seeing some folks that I saw on the water here at the banquet to support our fisheries. So not only do they participate, but they're here to give back too. So it's a really exciting time. So how how did, how did you guys do today? Did you get some Chinook, some Coho? Yes and yes. Chinook and Coho. I think we went four for seven. We had some drive-by hits that didn't materialize. We let a few go. We kept a few for the box, but overall, it was a really good day. We had action in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon. Fought a little bit of the wind, but we worked it out. All right, so uh, hey, if you didn't make it down here this year, definitely try to make it next year. We've got raffles going on. Uh, Dinner is gonna be served pretty soon. What else? What else they got here? A lot of great um, raffle prizes. So it's a great opportunity to pick up some cool things that were donated by amazing companies. And it's a good opportunity to talk to some of your favorite fishing peeps. So a great time to come down and see. And if you haven't got your booth yet for the old Laughlin show, this uh, she might be the one to contact or this guy over yeah, here. Yeah, these guys. Right. Listen, this if, you, guy. <laughs> if you want to be involved in the fishing community, like get embedded in the fabric of it, it happens at events like this and it happens at the sports shows. So come to the Washington or the Pacific Northwest Sportsman Show in Portland and hopefully we'll see everybody there. This, uh, Hi. So, that's so we have to go again. Okay. What are Paper we? beats. You owe me a wine ticket. Oh, and I'm gonna buy one. Yeah, but he's gonna buy it. Oh, well, it's okay. I gotta buy one. And she's gotta give me one. Two for one. You know, if you're gonna buy a wine ticket, why not make it fun? Right? Right? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissor. Yeah. So, um, so we got a lot of really great people here at the Derby. Uh, what's uh, what's your name? Hi, Ike Ennis, world's greatest fisherman, by the way. Ah, nice, man. So, you've been watching some of the videos on YouTube? Yeah, I've been watching them a bit. I'm a uh, firefighter, so sometimes at night when everyone else is out fishing and we're working, 
Uh, we'll sit there at the station. We'll just sit there and we'll uh, dream we're fishing by watching these videos. Hey, so first off, I want to say thanks for what you guys do. In fact, there was just a fire in Portland yesterday. I mean, they're all over the place, right? Oh, a lot of fires. you know what? It it is the season. We're used to fires, whether it's June or January. You know, it's a great job. We love what we do. We keep going, and uh, you know, we just think that people give us a chance to uh, come out and go fishing like this, and you know, have a good career and a good job to come and do this. And enjoy, uh, enjoy the Pacific Northwest. So, uh, so, so, where? What was you guys' strategy today? Where'd you guys put in? So. We started above the bridge on the Washington side. We went to an area called the Humps, and it was a little rough in there in the morning. We had a, we had a strong out pushing east wind going up against the uh, incoming tide. So we pulled over to the rest area. As soon as we hit the rest area, we started running up that. And as soon as we hit the sunken island, it was on. We put on five fish, uh, had a five bite run, uh, put a nice hatchery in the boat there. Then it got too rough over there for us to safely fish. It was me and my uncle today. So he's you guys, from, so he's you from guys, Kansas. So. so you guys were kind of over there by this the shipwreck, right? Yeah. Over by the bathroom, right? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then it got too bad there in the shipwreck. We were having like three foot standing waves. So then we ran back over to the humps and we put our second one in the boat. And then after that, we couldn't get a keeper coho to save us. We went through three coho and then a couple other Chinooks and we're like, let's get out of here. You know, it's funny, it's funny because like nobody comes down here thinking there's going to be an east wind. And then you come down and the tide's coming in, and the wind's going out, and there's lightning going off. Yeah. And then, Ladies you know. and gentlemen, once again, hey, thank you. All right. All right. You guys have a good time. We good will. Movie. Thank you. You burn more calories losing a fish than you do landing it. <laughs> then we and really these guys are calories. living proof. <laughs> uh, again, good evening, everybody. My name is Bob Reese, and I left this Smith Hamilton. Um, we are uh, representing the Northwest Sport Fishing Industry Association. How many other board members do we have in here from NSIA? Raise your hand. Great Chris Gavin, Steve Brembo, Buzz Ramsey. Mr. Tony Lotto. Folks, uh, you know, uh, you're here supporting NSIA because of the good work that this organization does. Of course, um, Liz Hamilton largely responsible for that, but a lot of board members pitch in too. Um, we are helping strengthen NSIA's voice in front of our legislators year-round. NSIA is in the lead to protect wild fish in their rivers. NSIA won all of the anti-hatchery lawsuits. NSIA has moved the economics of the Columbia River to a sport fishing priority. NSIA is protecting and growing hatchery funding Big package coming, hopefully soon. Um, NSIA was on the forefront of removing problematic sea lions from problematic areas such as Bongo and the Land River. And of course, providing more boat launches and access to anglers is also one of the many things that our organization does. So thank you again for participating in the 23rd Annual Buoy Tech Challenge to help make our work possible.
Uh, again, I'd like to thank the sponsors, Bob Sporting Goods, D&G Bait, Douglas Outdoors, Dugworth, Fisherman's Marine, Gamakatsu, Hummingbird, Encoda, Lawrence, Maxima, Northwest Sportsman Magazine, Okuma, Salmon Trout Steelhead Magazine, Short Bus Flashers, The Guide's Forecast, yeah! Well Craft, and Yakima Bay. Thank you everybody for sponsoring this event. And now, it's time for the ceremony to begin. Let's ceremonialize. What are we doing next? <laughs> We're going to talk about uh, the big fish winner. Are we, are we there yet? So, uh, hopefully everybody had a successful day of fishing. I immediately disqualified myself by going to the ocean and catching three 55 pounds should up that would have clearly won the derby. I didn't isolate those. Um, but uh, it sounds like the river fishing was good. There was a lot of fish caught. Uh, we have an idea what the big fish is, right? Yep. And go ahead and give it Are we just go ahead and announce the winner? Yeah. Okay, at a immensely huge 18 pounds, gutted and gill, the winner for the big fish prize. Sponsored by D&G Bait Company. Is Cindy here? Cindy Bait Farm? Cindy? She's done a lot of great stuff for our organization. Parker Nielsen. Way to go! $500 gift card for Fisherman's Marine. Good 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 high five there, buddy. Good job. Oh, you get a rod. Oh, yeah. And a rod. And a rod. And a rod. Yeah. Seriously. And a rod. Let's get on the side here, please. Let's get a rod in there. Well, hold on. Just hold on a second. Yeah. Okay, let's get this picture. There we go. It's all just live, man. Awesome. Thank you. Just smile. Hey, you have any secrets about how to get to each other? No secrets, just put it on the bottom and go in church hole. You guys catch that? Church hole. Uh, on the bottom in the church hole. Jesus. Let's do it with Jesus. Very good. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're going uh... uh, uh, to. Folks, uh, just a quick mention for some of the folks that have been with the. With the tournament for quite a while, and we got us over to Liz Hamilton. Where's John Elder? John? There you are. Well, John's been a supporter of this event for how many years? The first one. Since the beginning. Okay. And uh, we, we moved the event from who can catch the biggest fish and the most fish and the most weight to a celebration of bringing in a fish. So there'll be a raffle later tonight sponsored by Renaissance Marine Group. Uh, for those of you who brought in a fish, you're gonna get a raffle ticket, you're gonna win that exact same prize. However, to honor the captains that come back year after year after year, Stephen Gettle made this beautiful captain's trophy here. And John, it's in honor of you. When we started this, I wanted you to win. So, um, you're going to get that trophy as well. Oh, your name. Right? So, those of you who are captains who signed up a team, we wanted to honor you as well. And uh, that beautiful granite fish is the trophy this year. So, John, thanks for pushing us in that direction. Well, and certainly. Captains um, that participate in this event are a pretty important component of that. Um, again, just kind of reiterating our appreciation for the understanding that captains and teams have for the work that NSI does. So, John, you've provided a lot of great input over the years, and, and your participation is stellar, and, and we certainly appreciate all the work you've done. Thank you. There is one other captain we should Shannon Meehan. Shannon Meehan, yeah. How have you been doing it, Shannon? A long time. 
A long time. <laughs> yeah, so uh, how about folks that have uh, participated in this event for 10 years or great? We're in 20, year 23. What is Ramsey? You did it? It's a great A lot of people raised their fist for Copeless. Thank you guys. It really means a lot. And of course, it's our intention the more folks that we get involved in this uh, event, the more uh, folks we get involved with the mission of NSIA, it's going to be good for all of us in the long run. So um, I think maybe Trey might have an idea of what next year's date might be. We'll talk about that in a bit. But uh, really important that we get a good turnout to this and get people subscribed to how important this fishery is. I was talking with Ashley about this before. Uh, with uh, the press numbers of Spring Chinook and Summer Chinook and Winter Steelhead and Summer Steelhead and No Catch Deep Surgeon season, we're really down to 40 or 50 meaningful days of fishing. You know, and we have bad ocean conditions to work with and deteriorating hatcheries and poor water quality. And these are things that NSI are working on over time. And we really need to get the public to understand that and, and to know what we're here, what we're here about, and what we intend to do about it. So. Um, let's see, we got, uh, are we, are we doing the captains? Yep, you got this. So, that's the helix. So, this is, uh... Travis, you want to explain? Where's Travis? Talk to me. Travis, here's the mic. It's live, and it's live. Is this an auction, or what are we yes. doing? Why? So apparently we're doing a wide auction, and I donated this from uh, our factories. I represent Humber and Nomiatsu here tonight. This is a Helix 10 mega size downloading side of the Dean Chirp GPS full unit with transducer. And uh, yeah. Retails for about $2,100. $2,199, I believe. Yes, sir. Wow. Yep. So who's ready for a new fish finder? So we're, uh, we're auctioning some, is that right? Correct. So let's honor Hummingbird and the fact that they've donated this wonderful piece of equipment. Um, I'd like to start the bidding for this at $500, right? Sure. So we got a winner We got a winner of that. We got a first bidder at $500. Give the donating guy a hand. Thank you. And you just started the bidding at $500. Do I hear $500? $500 for Hummingbird. $500? $500. There's one right there. $600. $600. Do I hear $700? $700 for the fish finder? $700. We have $600. We have $700 for the fish finder. $2,100 value. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Where's my husband? Oh, yeah. Where's my husband? 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 Yeah. $900, $900, can I get $900 for the fish finder? $900, thank you. Yes, we have $800, 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 Nine hundred. Eight fifty's bid. Nine hundred. Eight fifty's bid. Nine hundred. Anybody? Nine hundred. Nine hundred dollars. Shannon, thank you. How about nine fifty? Nine hundred fifty dollars. Anybody? Nine fifty. Nine fifty. No. Nine fifty. Nine fifty. Nine fifty. We have nine hundred. Going once. Going twice. Sold for nine hundred dollars to Shannon. Thank you so much. Uh, just to remind folks that the silent auction is going to close in 7.30. We're going out late, 7.30? That's the schedule. Silent auction in 6.30. Silent auction may close at 7.15. Depends on how many cookies you guys eat. All right, just a reminder, check your bids at the silent auction. It's going to be closed pretty soon. All right, let's do some bucket raffle.
This is for the custom painted wood dryer. Who did that paint job? Pete did, the company. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pete from the company. No eyes on the winning winner. Winner is. Yeah. Oh, no way. Chris for double as the Greek. Got to get your wood dryer. You can throw a little anti fungal spray in there, too. That means you can. How appropriate that the biggest Bigfoot lover in the county has got a boot dryer. <laughs> Good job, Chris. People are folding their tickets over, but I got an unfolded ticket. This is for a Crossman Power Pellet Gun. Not to be used on the seals that take your salmon. As long as you don't get caught. This goes to. KC! KC! Who's KC? KC! Any other KCs want to contest that? No. KC. And the city. Alright, thank you, sir. And next up is the Pendleton Towel Wrap. For when you get out of the shower and cover yourself up with Pendleton Wool, this goes to. That would be itchy. Scratchy no, it's to somebody with not a principal hand. Yeah. Daryl. Daryl? Daryl. Daryl. Where's Daryl? Did we give that to Daryl? Yeah. yeah. He wrote that. Oh, God. I did. I did. This guy pulled the trailer down Wednesday night. Okay, what he does is home time is his own business. <laughs> Itchy. No. All right, here's a pen drive bag. This is a big, big, big ticket item. Let's see, just about disqualified. This cool. This goes to. Oh, pen ticket. I'm just going to penalize you. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah. Here it is. Nice work on this one. John Germain. Hey. Volunteer. Thank you, John, for your support. And for your volunteer effort. What's that? Next item for bid is the Moultrie 42 MP Micro Series Trail Camera, valued at ninety dollars, goes to Mike D. O. Mike O. Mike O. Mike O. Mike O. Thank you, Michael. What soldier winner? Thank you, Buzzer and the Foot Soldier. Handshake. Oh, yeah. Secret brother. Good work. Next up is the Bubba 6.5 inch stainless steel fishing flyers. Goes to Fire Hand Model Mike Myra. Drew. Drew, are you in the house? Drew. Don't be shy. Drew's got it here. And they keep coming. The yeah, Astoria Riverwalk one night stay with a king suite. Think about what you could do. Value $300. Bills. Drew. Good job. Okay, this goes to Steve L. Booyah. Steve L, what are you going to do with that? I'm taking a wife. All right, Steve L. The wife is coming. Steve L. Ready to go. And speaking of Riverwalk Inn, Crab Trap up next. Right. And the winner of the Crab Trap is... Mustafa. <laughs> we go, Mustafa! Happy crowding! See you at the Riverwalk. Next item over real, this is a good one. Costa Del Mar sunglasses. These are two hundred eighty-three dollar glasses, reefed in pros. There's a lot of competition for this one. Did I pick you? Did I pick you? Oh, I got kind of quiet. <laughs> 
Tim. Tim. Hold on. Hold on. You're another pair of sunglasses. Tim F. Tim F, I'm at least it's an ID. Let me rear knife trader shenanigan, assorted blade pocket knife, value sixty-eight dollars. And the winner of that is Drew again. Drew, how much money did you spend on the wrap up your house, bud? Hello, very good. Drew, oh, oh, in the chair there, yeah, oh, open the hoodie, yeah. Go. Oh, oh, Matt, come in, gun. Good job. Score. Goes to KC. Is this thing ripped? KC. Don't bid yourself. Well done. You are one of four people that wanted that. And that's just a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Rapala, 50 pound digital scale. We are rising through this program. This scale, 50 pound capacity, goes to Drew. Who is this Drew guy? <laughs> Drew, we draw you. There you go. <laughs> Next time you look at it, the one I stayed here too, is by Bolton Inn. Bolton Inn. I guess you can go either way. That's also a $300 value. Foul lines. Foul. And the lucky deal winner is Sean Stewart. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Danielson, foldable crab trap. We got another one of these. I'm not going to say just yet it's Drew, but maybe it's no. Drew. It is Fido. Fido! Oh. Former Buzz Ramsey foot soldier of the year. Thanks. Here's your uh, lake. Is that what that is? A blade, a fish, a way fish lean mat. Yeah. Another high competition winner. We got a new person here. Jim. Num, num, Jim. Num, 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 num. Jim. In. Come on down, Jim. Num, num. He's like President Eminem, but Jim. Num. Now you got and here's your buoys, your bumpers. Yeah, right, Chris Phillips, if you ever don't want to scratch your boat, I hope you bought lots of these tickets. <laughs> Somebody didn't buy a lot of tickets. For four boat bumpers, it is going to be... How many things are sticking together? It must have stayed the night of that story we were walking. <laughs> CH! CH! That's Uncle. That's Uncle Chuck. Woo! Where are going here? Speaking of Uncle Chuck, who's helped, helped out here numerous times over the years, let's give a round of applause for Uncle Chuck. And uh, speaking of wonderful people, Chuck, uh, uh, Chuck's brother, this is Dad, Ham Hamilton, who helped out here also for decades. Uh, we lost him this year. I just oh, no. would like to recognize the fact that uh, there's been a lot of really uh, wonderful people that have helped with this event over the decades. And Pam Hamilton and Chuck, uh, Chuck, let's give a round of applause for the Hamiltons. And a shout out to Carmen McDonald as well. Carmen, I think, was really the father of this event. So, Carmen McDonald, we miss you guys, and uh, we hope the fish is good. Helen Hackable Blanket goes to David. I can't even say that last name without swearing. How do you say that? Wait, 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 Woo! Are you still here? Oh, there he is. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thanks for your sponsorship. He put it up for us. Thank you so much. Good job, brother. And he's also going to get to draw the mystery fish. We are on the back of the net. Oh. Ooh, I'll just take that. This looks so. like a busy box here. Stout. Yeah. Everybody needs a net, right? Buoy 10 challenge, and this goes to fill in the blank. Who's filling the blank? Sorry, nothing for you. <laughs> oh, let's read the number. Do they, they have a number? No. 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 Dr. Hook. Dr. Hook. <laughs> <Dr. Hook. laughs> <laughs> I think that sounds a little that sounds a little like a rock band to me, I think. That's gonna come up in the end. Oh, 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 oh. there's a lot of low hanging fruit for Dr. Hook. <laughs> Alright, oh what's this for? We are not gonna do this guy. <laughs> Ten packs of Hyper Biz tape goes to the great Chris Bertopoulos. I don't know. I don't know what part of Bigfoot you're going to stick that on, but you keep it to yourself. Right, thanks, Chris. <laughs> hey, Tony. How's it going? Good, good, good to see you. Good to see you too. Up next is a silver horn lure and flasher bag. This is a two hundred thirty dollar value. I'm going to stand those tinders out. Let's go. No freaking way. Sasquatch, you win again. The applause is getting quieter and quieter. All right. Thanks, Chris. Fist bump again. Yeah, another fist bump. Where's Bigfoot? What for? You know he's real. I'm a big one believer. West Coast Auto Detailing Package. I want this one. Oh, I need some detail on my truck. This is a $350 package. Goes to. That's <laughs> watch. It's Christmas. Huh? Bertolas, do you really want this detailing package? <laughs> yeah, he said yeah. Come get your detailing back, Mr. Douglas. Go! You see what you're doing? I'll do like that. I'll do the walk by hand slap. There you go. Thank you. Flat eye, rechargeable light. I got to use my mind and hold it. It better not be. Chris, did you put in for this? Did you put in for this, Chris? Chris, don't bother shooting. Did you put in for this? The flat iron return to the line? Yes. <laughs> just stay right there. Oh, no. Yeah, just stay right there. Stay right there. Sit down. He didn't even pull his tickets over. That guy did. Dr. Hook, way to go! Hey, Dr. Hook. Ah. Last guy to go for bid. Yeah. I still want Chris to win that. What is this? This is the uh, Columbia Accent, Ascent Watch. Again, donated by Mike Olson. Thank you, Mike. Is that the Mike Oak? Yes. Oh, the winner is David. Wins again. David, where are you? From Duckworth Boats. Come on, get your watch. Thank you very much, you guys. That was a great. A great basket auction. It's 713. You guys have 720. You have seven minutes to do your final bids on the silent auction. So seven minutes. We're closing six minutes now. Miguel, come on up. You're gonna drop. Oh, no, I guess you're not. The winner for the captain's team of three next year, Justin Pallion. That is it? Is Justin here? If you're here, yeah. Okay. There you go. There's the opening winner, $500. Yeah. So, um, Justin, would you go? <laughs>
Susan. Okay. You need to write that down for us for next okay. year because my brain won't remember. So okay. they need to write it down. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. We need that ticket for the captain's prize. Yeah, you're right. The ticket prize. Show boat. Yeah, you're right. I need to get the ticket back. We got your shot. Right. Fish on! <laughs> nice. Right, we're put Tight you lines. In. You gonna throw it back in throw there now? Okay. okay. Another drawing. Yeah. Oh, in case you get something else. All right. Just Thank in you. case. You never know. All right. And uh, this is Jim Ryan and Science and Science Auction, folks. You know, we do a really good Dutch auction here. We're going to be doing a Dutch auction shortly. These bags are so full of booty, as we're saying, that um, the Dutch auction price for this year is $40. So we have a limited number of bags available. The prize that is embedded in the bag is we're ready for. It. So as best knows who's doing this. And then our volunteers need to be lined up. Okay, uh, volunteers, go to your stations for the Dutch auction bags, please. Volunteers to your stations. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, the famous, world famous Buzz Ramsey will be talking to you about. What is in this unique Dutch auction bag? Something you've never seen before. That's <laughs> Ramsey. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. So we're going to do a Dutch auction. And um, I don't know if everybody's familiar with this, but this is a little deal where we're going to auction off these bags, in which case we have how many? A hundred? Two hundred dollars worth. Oh, we have a hundred bags, yeah. We have a hundred bags? Available. Available? And this is what's in? Yeah, about two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Two hundred dollars worth of stuff? Two hundred dollars worth of stuff in the bag, he said. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a flasher. Short bus flasher. A cultural flasher. An Avco hat. Huh? A silver cord squid glow with mylar. Phone protector. Are they all the same? A phone protector, a little uh, heavy duty zip top. Zip top. What else we got? Uh, a gamakatsu microfiber towel. Yay. Lots of 12 fishing. 12 by 12, actually. Lots of fishing line. Maximum fishing line, 30 pound, 400 yard. More fishing line. More, more fishing line. line. More lures, more scent. Cajun <laughs> line, quarter pound spool, Gamagatsu hooks, owner hooks. We need those today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just more hooks and tackle and scent. And there's Posky fire gel, and there is, oh, more hooks. Maruto hooks, those look good. Those look really good. And what else is? There's a uh, Gold Star Spoon. What else? And Northwest Sportsman Magazine. Oh, hold on. What about that one? This one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Salmon Trout Steel Hunter Magazine. And the guy in the cover is in the crowd. And the guy in the cover. Oh, really? The guy in the cover is right over here. They just want to grab his other crowd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you a fancy pen. We'll get you a fancy pen, and you can sign. And then then there's some okay, okay. big, We're big prizes. Back in here. Big, big prizes. So we've got a lot of these bags, and you can buy more than one. They're $20 each. 40. 40. Oh, they're $40 yep. each. Okay, because we got $200 worth of stuff. You can only that. And a t shirt. Okay, and if you buy a bag, or more than one bag, you can buy as many as you want. We've got bonus prizes that you're eligible for. One of them is a free bottom fishing trip for one with big bite fishing charters, $225 value. That's the third prize. The second prize you might win if you buy a Dutch auction bag is a big cheap smoker with drying screens valued at $250. And the first prize is Douglas Outdoor Douglas DXC and uh, that is their highest end modular graphite with a 835 Shimano Dakota 301 HGLC line counter reel. The package value at $549. Wow. 
So we've got a team of people here that are going to grab these bags and walk around and pull up your $20 bills. $40. Or $40, excuse me, $40 bills for, uh, for a bag. Tell them that they open the zipper on the front of their table. Well, we'll worry about that when it's time. Yeah, we'll tell them that. Okay, so $40 a bag. Sorry about that. Um, but a great value. A lot of good stuff. Oh, you got to get that and by the way, the bags are not all exactly the same, but pretty close. Remember, you got a chance to win a charter fishing trip for bottom fish, a big chief smoker with drying stream for a Douglas outdoor rod with a that is impressive. That is impressive. You know, I mean, what do you get for that? Ooh, who's this guy? Honorable Hey, where's hey the there. See a hand oh, yeah. let's see. Let's see. They put him in these. Uh, there he is. There it is. There it is. There he is. Super yeah. Star. Better get your sharp. Get your sharpie out. Get the sharpies. Well, I want mine personalized. <laughs> and don't pretend you don't have sharpies. I don't have sharpies. I might have one. I got the wheels of the bus field on. Interesting side story. We were fishless today, but he's the 2021 Big Fish winner. So, hey, you know what? I, honestly, I've been fishless down here. Hey, uh, I mean, we weren't fishless. We had bites. They just didn't hook themselves but good enough. It just so happened that the Big Fish winner today sat at our table when he said he was the Big Fish winner. I looked at him and said, oh, you're at the wrong table, brother. This is the fishless day. No way. He just made it the fish table. That's your Big Fish winner right there this year's. Very yeah, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. No, no, we'll be Absolutely. back next year too, and I'm gonna win it. We, yeah, right? we enjoy your videos, brother. Even if I gotta go to the store and buy one, I'm winning it. I'm trying to do as good a job as I can. So. Good shit. Good shit. Make it, make it fun, right? Yeah. One more bag. This guy wants to sell your one. Where's it at? Two of you got him since I made your weight. We <laughs> get two. John? We need two bags up here. Got no. Oh, there's one, there's one on the table. Oh, here you go. There's, there's two. There's two right here. Yeah, there's two. Okay, where you go? Okay, he's got it. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. So is, there, is everybody ready? I assume everyone's got their bags. There's two of the one and one's got one, one or two. There's whatever. two bags left a out there. Couple more minutes. Yeah. Okay, couple more minutes. We're still delivering. Thank you. Thanks. 
He's always winning. Okay, give me one more. Miguel, come on up. You guys are out. Oh, no, I guess you're not. The winner for the captain's team of three next year, Justin Pallion. Did I say that? Is Justin here? If you're here, yeah. Okay. There you go. There's the opening winner, $500. Susan, in the midterm, write that down for us for next okay. year, because my brain won't remember, so okay. they need to write it down. For Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. We need that ticket for oh, the yeah, captain's yeah. prize, yeah, you're or for right. the you're team back. prize. <laughs> Showboat. <laughs> we got your shot. All right. Fish on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we're going to put Tight you in. Tight lines. You gonna throw it back in throw there now? Okay. okay. Another drawing. Yeah. Oh, in case you get something else. All right. Just Thank in case. You. you never know. All right. And uh, this is a general running of science and science and auction, folks. You know, we do a really good Dutch auction here. We're going to be doing a Dutch auction shortly. These bags are so full of booty, as we're saying, that um, the Dutch auction price for this year is $40. So we have a limited number of bags available. The price that is embedded in the bag is we're ready for so as best knows who's doing this and then our volunteers need to be lined up okay uh volunteers go to your stations for the dutch option bags please volunteers to your stations mm -hmm. and meanwhile the famous world famous buzz ramsey will be talking to you about what is in this unique dutch option bag something you've never seen before That's Ramsey. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. So we're going to do a Dutch auction. And uh, I don't know if everybody's familiar with this, but this is a little deal where we're going to auction off these bags, in which case we have how many? A hundred? Two hundred dollars worth. Oh, we have a hundred bags, yeah. We have a hundred bags? Available. Available, and this is what's in them? Yeah, about $200 worth of stuff. $200 worth of stuff in the bag, he says. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a flasher, short bus flasher. Let's see what's in here. Oh, there's a little bag of tools. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a little bag of tools. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bag of tools. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bag of tools. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bag of tools. Are they all the same? A foam protector, a little uh, heavy duty zip top. Zip top. What else we got? Uh, a gamakatsu microfiber towel. Yay. Lots of 12 fishing. 12 by 12. Actually. Lots of fishing line. Maximum fishing line, 30 pound, 400 yard. More fishing line. More, More fishing line. line. More lures, more scent. Cajun <laughs> line, quarter pound spool, gamagatsu hooks, owner hooks. We need those today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just more hooks and tackle on scent. And there's Posky fire gel, and there is, oh, more hooks. Maruto hooks, those look good. Those look really good. And what else, Liz? There's a uh, gold star spoon. What else? And Northwest Sportsman Magazine. Oh, hold on, what about that one? This one? <laughs> oh, yeah, Salmon Trout Steelhunter Magazine. And the guy in the cover is in the crowd. And the guy in the cover is oh, really? in the cover. Oh, really? right over here in case you want to grab his underground. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> we'll get you a fancy pen. We'll get you a fancy pen and you can sign. And then then there's some okay, okay. big, we got big prizes. Back in here. Big, big prizes. So we've got a lot of these bags, and you can buy more than one. They're $20 each. 40, 40. Oh, they're $40 yeah. each? Yeah. Okay, because we got $200 worth of stuff. You can only that. And a t shirt. Okay, and if you buy a bag, or more than one bag, you can buy as many as you want. We've got bonus prizes that you're eligible for. One of them is a free bottom fishing trip 
for one with big five decision charters, $225 value. That's the third prize. The second prize you might win if you buy a Dutch auction bag is a big chief smoker with drying screens valued at $250. And the first prize is a Douglas Outdoor Douglas DXC, and uh, that is their highest end modulus graphite with a 835 Shimano Dakota 301 HDLC line counter reel, the package value at $549. So we've got a team of people here that are going to grab these bags and walk around and pull up your $20 bills, $40. or $40, excuse me, $40 bills for, uh, for a bag. Tell them that they open the zipper on the front of their Well, we'll worry about that one's time. Let's yeah, go. we'll tell them that. Okay, so forty dollars a bag. Sorry about that. Um, but great value. A lot of good stuff. And by the way, the bags are not all exactly the same. Pretty close. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh, who's this guy? <laughs> Honorable hey, hey the there. See a hand oh, yeah. let's see. Let's see. They put them in these. Uh, there he is. There it is. There it is. There he is. There he is. Super yeah. Star. Better get your sharp. Get your sharpie out. Get the sharpies. Well, I want mine personalized. And don't pretend you don't have Sharpies. I saw that shot. I might have one of the wheels of the bus field. Oh, you know, thumb and up. Two of these. Oh, we got a, we got a list. Here we go. Interesting side story. We were fishless today, but he's the 2021 Big Fish winner. Hey, you know what? I, honestly, I've been fishless down here. Hey, we weren't fishless. We had bites. They just didn't hook themselves but good enough. It just so happened that the Big Fish winner today sat at our table. When he said he was the Big Fish winner, I looked at him and said, Oh, you're at the wrong table, brother. This is the fishless table. No way. He just made it the fish table. That's your Big Fish winner right there this year's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. No, no, we'll be Absolutely. back next year too, and I'm gonna win it. We, we enjoy your videos, brother. Even if I gotta go. Anyway, we did get all of this last funding this year plus, and uh, so we're gonna keep those hatcheries funded. Hey, are we good? We got one more bag on the right here. One more bag. This guy, this fellow here works for me. Right. Where's it at? Okay, got him since I made your weight. We <laughs> get two. John? We need two bags up here. Got no. Oh, there's one on the table. Oh, here you go. There's two tables. There's two right here. Yeah, there's two. Okay, where you go? Okay, he's got it. Okay, there you go, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank, you, much. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So is, is everybody ready? I assume yeah. everyone's got their bags. Everyone of the wanted ones got one, one or two, or two. There's two bags left out there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a couple more minutes. We're still delivering. Anybody else? Ready? Oh, hold on. Uh. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so the bag, you've got the white rubber bag that you've got, has a zipper on it, and there's a number in that zipper. So open that zipper on the bag, and we're going to read off the winner. Are you going to draw? Yeah, let Liz draw it. Okay, if you... 
This is for the third prize, the bottom fishing trip with big bites fishing charters. The number is 44. Who's got 44? There we go. Right back there. Come, come on up here. Come on up here. And, uh... Okay, Liz, give me another one. This is for the big chief smoker with dry strains. The number is 25. 25, right there. I get this or you do it? Oh, you get it. Thank you. Thanks. He's always winning. Okay, give me one more. Hey, superstar. What's hey. Up? hey. <laughs> Three minutes. Three minutes. You can't have too many bags, no. right? We got some door prizes to give away. There's Hamilton. We're ahead of schedule. Yes, sir. Yep. We got some door prizes to give away, right? Door price time? Door price time? Woo! Okay. So we need the volunteers. Battery. Battery. Volunteers up for the door price. Volunteers, come on up here. We need you here for door price time. Volunteers to the front. Except for Stevie and other people doing important work. Thanks, Stevie. We got some, here comes store prize number one. It's uh, some Kwamakatsu Tackle Store boxes. What? Liz, what? John Elder. Here you go, him. John Elder, here comes your door prize, brother. Nice work. That's our next item uh, for today. Three books, three fishing and in books, so two. Justin Allian. Justin, you got some great books here. Where's Justin? Raise your hand, Justin. All right, that's for Justin. Here's some frog talk real rags in a blue tape. Cooling uh, Saver, Todd Saver, are you in the house? You fish with Sasquatch today? No? Todd Saver, are you here? Todd Saver? Is he here, Chris? Yeah. Okay, let's get to the next item of the bids here. Here's three rods. Is this a winner? Alright, here's some rods and some 
One cutters goes to Team Jeff Flat. Nice catch, Jeff Flat, right over there on the left side, guys. Good job. Single four, mid four items. Team of four gets Rob McNeil. Hey, Rob, nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. And we're back to what's team three? Yeah. We got five. These two things here. Was that five? Look at Team of five. Oh, this guy's top shelf material. Bill O'Loughlin. Hey, we're oh, that's the Alaka table over there. On behalf of Bill, Frank our scan. What we win? You're gonna <laughs> love it. <laughs> what about five? We got five items. Yeah, these are the Wow. All right, Buzz Ramsey. That was Buzz, winner, winner, Buzz. Hey, here we go. I don't know to go very far. Exactly nice. what we need. Towels. And then we got Towels. a group of five, uh, two. There you go. Uh, two. We get sweaty and sneaky. Right. All right. All right. Uh, team of three, Bob Walker. has got some toes, tackle toes coming. Thank you, Bob. Good job. And a team of five, Bill Walker. Bill Walker. Oh, don't give this guy any good. More towels. More towels. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> oh, give me something else. Um, hey, Chris Copeland, team of five, come get your swag. And then the next guy down for Chris, team of four. Which one? Most people are raising their hands here. Drew Monzi gets the gun that got to. And then, uh, what are those, Mike? Oh, those are cool, those are cool. Steve Lahoda gets some fish hooks. Steve, are you still here? Yeah. Hey, these are cool. Throw your yeah. fish hooks. Right here. Yeah, I'll take a towel. You're going to get a lot. Nope. Give them to Dr. Hook. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Team of four, we need four items up to win. Goes to Sean Stewart. Sean Stewart. More tackle boxes. Goes to Romaldo Gerhardo. Sorry for butchering that. Romaldo, are you here, Romaldo? Alright, then uh, team of three gets the tackle boxes, Porter Nielsen. Porter Nielsen. Why? Here's uh, uh, some heat boot uh, grinders and a couple of one girl bags for Sarah Reese. Sarah Reese. Sarah Reese, are you here? No, Sarah? And then it goes to a team of three. Here's a team of three, so give the bags back. Dustin Stansberry. Dustin, Dustin, are you here? Dustin Stansberry is not here either. Team of six. There you go. Towels and boot dryers to Travis Pollock. Travis Pollock, are you here? Travis? Whoa, good catch. Here I am. Oh, you're Steven? Team of two, that's a perfect thing for team of two. Oh, that, well that's three out, so that's one. All right, thanks. Tim Crump. Tim, thank you. We got some tackle bags. 
Michael Storage item. Oh, okay. <laughs> What'd you get, Jim? Tackle bags. Anybody? Go ahead. Yeah, I use those definitely. Here's some casting yep. reveals and some tackle boxes. I can put my new uh, Mustafa. I can put our new Mustafa. Well done. That's a good score. Here's for a team of four. What do we have for four? Here's a some good bag. Shannon Meehan. Shannon Meehan. There's a little light reading for you. Thank you. I would study that book versus do my homework in school. You too, right? That's why I'm a fishing guy. I don't know what yours. <laughs> you got a team of one. That we the team of one. Oh, that's a good one. Evelyn Hazlett. Evelyn, are you here? Let me get my glasses off. Right here. Evelyn Hazlett. Is there an Evelyn Hazlett here? Nope. Sorry, Evelyn. We'll add that to one of these. Okay, team of two. Isaac Yanez. Are you here, Isaac? Hey, KC, now we have your real name. KC. And for $6,000 cash, Bill Monroe, are you here? Bill Monroe Jr., 6000 cash? Oh. Look at that on film. Bill Monroe, are you here anywhere? 6000 cash. Bill Monroe. So we didn't get that. I'm so sorry, Bill Monroe. I think it was like a tackle bag. Or Jr. Or the it was something like so that. So we're going to default um, to the team of six for 6,000 cash. Bob Reese! Wait a minute, those don't. <laughs> 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 you guys hold Jim's mouth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, what's my prize? Make it good. What is it, you? <laughs> and don't give me those tackle boxes. <laughs> That's six. We got some cards. That's it. Oh, hold it. It's Bill and Rowe. <laughs> Bill, Bill, I'm so sorry. We just gave away the six thousand to Bob Reese. <laughs> You're gonna do what? Put him on speaker phone. <laughs> Bill, Bill is better than the speaker. You're in front of a crowd of 3,000 people. We just drew your name for 6,000 cash. How do you feel about that? I wish you were here. I feel awesome about it. But the one person who has been watching you three today. Oh, he's going to re donate 6,000 cash. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! And there's a tip for you in the cooler. Thank you. Hey, what's my prize? I got six co prizes going. Is this it? That was it right there. My personal alarm? Oh, I need that. Personal alarm. Okay. If I told you how many times I've had an attempt of my life, this personal alarm is going to come in handy. <laughs> All right. Team of five. Cards. Three gift cards. Three gift cards and two bags. I didn't see Josh Cooper here. Is Josh Cooper here? Oh, oh there's a handsome man. Where there he is. <laughs> Josh Cooper, a legend in the industry. Thanks, Josh. The big chief. Yeah, I want to be. <laughs> I kind of want the done this one. Don't forget your drying screens, Jeff. Okay, give me another one. This is for the uh, Douglas Rod and the Dakota Thanks. Reel. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. Okay, what's your number? Number 59. Number 59. 
Who's got 59? Right there? Okay. You win the Douglas DX Cassie rod with a Shimano Dakota 301 HG line counter reel. Well done. Thanks, sir. Nice. That's right. That's right. I like it. Thank you. Hold it. Good job, you guys. Yeah, 59. Get a picture. Is that a 59 or is that a? That's a 69. 69. Oh, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. That Just split it in half. Yeah, it looked like 59 just together. <laughs> we got a new winner. <laughs> Sorry. Picture, picture with the winner. Thank you. Good, good people to work Thank on you. their handwriting. Yeah. Me and nice. guys. All right. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got the Douglas. Oh, no, you're in here. Douglas designer right here. Fred. This will be my first Douglas rod. Good. Yeah, nice. Okay, guys, smile like you got a fish yeah. on. <laughs> so we got we got the Douglas designer. Bob Douglas is going to buy, buy a bunch of Douglas rods. <laughs> and then Buzz is a rep, right? And uh, you just not really. ambassador. Oh, okay. So uh, amb fishing guide. ambassador. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Good. Good job, guys. All right. Thank you. Okay. That's what he caught all his fish on today. <laughs> yeah. He did. Uh, it was right of you. Yeah. Hey, we're going to do the bucket raffle here shortly. So I'm going to give you about another two minutes. If you haven't got all your tickets in or you'd like to buy some more tickets, this is your last chance. We're ready to do that bucket. We're ready to do it fast. So you can also need our volunteers to be ready for the bucket raffle next. <laughs> Some folks are taking advantage and looking at some of their final bids for the silent auction. We are going to close out sometime between 7.15 and 7.30. All right, John? All right now, stay focused on the bucket raffle. Hopefully everybody's got their raffle tickets into the bucket raffle. If you want to buy more tickets, buy them now. Who's selling, who's selling bucket raffle tickets? Corner pocket over there. Raise your hand if you're selling bucket raffle tickets in the back corner. All right, we got a few left. We're going to close that down in just one minute. Still have time to put, put tickets in the bucket raffle? While you're there, take a look at your silent auction items. Stay away from mine. Fifteen to thirty minutes. Seven minutes to go. This guy, I don't think he's here. Brian Watts. Brian? There's another. Yeah. That's nice. All right, and our last item of the bid. Five people. John Kaiser. John Kaiser, I met just met this guy. There it is. Hey, John. All right. So. Thank you. What? What a terrific outpouring of love and support. I'm gonna. Sorry. I think it's been my pleasure. Hey, thanks. We're gonna fist bump here. Thanks. Oh my God, was his Sasquatch T-shirt. I'm telling my favorite joke. David, Mr. Duckworth, thank you again for your sponsorship. It's time for Mystery Prize. All right. So how did this go? This one will be used. Nine items we're giving away. Nine items. This was a prize that was actually founded by Renaissance Marine any words of wisdom? Good luck. Uh, my name is David Foyt, and I'm a business development manager for Renaissance Marine Group, and we're the manufacturer of Cupworth and Wellcraft. Uh, just wanted to thank MSI and all of your advocacy for our industry, uh, and all of you for participating in this event. It makes it great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
to just start bringing stuff up from there and we'll draw. So this is just for catching the fish and celebrating with us. One by one. Okay, we have a silver horn uh, tackle caddy goes to Steve O'Neill. Yeah, folks. Yeah. Hey, folks. We got an anchor caddy. I'll take one of those. Please, thank you. Anchor caddy goes to. Oh, damn. Makia Ford. Oh, All right. Right here, part of time. Thank you. How bad did we put you that in? That you did. Makia. Makia. Yeah. That was Lisa's fault. Oh, here's a good one. This is a lens. What is it? What? Kosky sunglasses. Costa. Coke Costa. Eric Schultz. Schultz. Eric Schultz. Are you here? Yeah, he's there. Nice glasses. And we got. What do we got next? Another anchor caddy. It goes to. Thanks. Tim Riley. There you go, Tim. Thank you. Another anchor caddy. He doesn't have a boat. <laughs> <laughs> but my wife will fit nicely in it. <laughs> 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 it's nice. my wife's favorite color. Go <laughs> 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 water, real goes to Kendall Smith. Like you know Musafa. So thank you for bringing the fish to <laughs> And we got another silver horde taco caddy for Thanks. Shannon Meehan. I guess you could fit three fishing and oriented books in there. Two more. This tackle, this anchor room caddy goes to Jeff Flat. Thank you, Jeff. Lucky Jeff. And the last item for the big ticket items goes to the Silver Horde tackle caddy goes to Conley Wilson. Thank you, Conley. <laughs> this is a Douglas rod, right? Five hundred dollar Douglas rod. It goes with the five hundred dollar. Oh, it says it goes with the five hundred dollar. Yeah, mystery. And the five hundred dollar gift card, right? Yes. They're both together. Yes. So you get like, uh, what is this retail for, Douglas rod? <laughs> 360, $360 by this rod, and a $500 FNSO gift card goes to Chris No, no, no. <laughs> Bob Walker, where's Bob Walker? Oh, right. Yeah. Let's give yourselves Thank a hand you. for being here, for bringing Thank in the you. fish, for participating in the Derby, and see you all next year on... Do we have a day for that, Trey? Trey, for the day. Trey, We talked about doing this a week earlier next year, so let me just dial that up. Third, third Friday in August. Third Friday in August 2024 is the 16th. August 16th next year, guys. Woo! Thank yeah. you. Don't forget to tip your bartender. Yeah, tip your bartender, please.
hey i want to thank everybody for watching tonight uh, it's been a great event fishing's been really good down here hopefully next year we can see more warm bodies and catch more fish and have a great time otherwise uh i am headed home and i hope you guys all enjoyed this video thanks